Hello, uh, welcome to Baltic Centre for Contemporary Art. My name's Judith and I'm part of Baltic Crew. Today we're looking at the Judy Chicago exhibition. Very, very important artist, very significant artist. In June she had her 80th birthday and she's been interested in art ever since she was a child. Um, she said that she went to the Art Institute of Chicago from the age of 5 to 17. Uh, so she's kind of been involved in art all of her life. So she le left Chicago when she was 17. And in 1962, she completed a Bachelor in Fine Arts at UCLA. And in 1964, she completed her Masters of Art at UCLA as well. In the 60s, most of her work was very abstract, it was very minimal. She was very much looking for her own way of uh, creating art. She actually learned how to spray paint from an auto body uh, shop. And this brings us to this painting from 1973, and this is called Let It All Hang Out. In this painting, she's very much kind of developing her own uh, kind of visual language. And again, it's minimalism, it's abstract art, but it's Judy Chicago's take on this. And it almost, um, I think it's more kind of up art in some ways. It seems to vibrate, it seems to shimmy, it seems to shimmer. So um, as well as Judy uh, learning um, auto body painting, she also learned about um, how to create kind of fireworks and smoke and um, kind of pyrotechnics. She, she, she went to classes to learn about these things as well. But she used these things that were traditionally associated with, say, with kind of uh, male activities to create a very different kind of art. These are a series of at called atmosphere paintings. They were started in, I think, the late 60s, and she's still creating them now. This one in the foyer at Baltic, which is uh, from this year, from, from Miami. And, uh, they are set in the desert, these ones. You can see these, the, the pinks and red and green smokes. And also in the middle is these uh, women uh, who are painted, their bodies are painted in different colors as well. This ties in again with um, other things that were happening in the greater art world, uh, land art. But I think if you think of land art, if you think for something, ex a great example would be something like Robert Smithson's Spiral Jetty. Uh, from the early 70s and she kind of took a digger and a bulldozer and kind of excavated the land and then moved the land but this is a much more kinder to nature way a much more gentler way of, of creating land art and this is a theme that we'll see throughout her work this kind of um, respect for nature and the, the respect for the, the, the natural environment as well. Judy Chicago, she worked on uh, The Birth Project from uh, 1980 to 1985. She looked through uh, the history of art, she looked through the history of culture, and she thought there was nothing really about birth. She talked to a lot of women about their experience of birth. She, she talked with lots of scientists and doctors and just everybody connected with birth. And out of the research, she created um, uh, these kind of tapestries, these quilts, um, again, uh, Judy was at the helm and um, a, a, body, a body of needleworkers, they, they created the quilts behind her. And it's quite odd, isn't it, that kind of 1980, 1985, that there hadn't been a significant amount of work about birth because it's something that happens to everybody. We're all born and, and it's a kind of an essential aspect of life. So that ties in very much with kind of uh, Judy Chicago's ideas about, about women's experience and really wanting to give a kind of voice to women and a place for women in art and in art history. So this is Autobiography of a Year and this is from 1993 to 1994 and it's 140 uh, pieces of work, uh, mainly drawings and sketches. It was a year in which her mother died, it was a year in which um, she received quite a lot of quite scathing criticism about her work. So you have kind of very simple things like um, kind of Valentine's Day, but you also, as I say, have these things about being attacked, about, um, about her mum, um, and also things like just everyday things like her cats, 
Like she loved her cats, there's images of her cats there as well. So um, autobiography, yes, yeah, to say, very personal. And also, I mean, it's very honest, it's very open. So I think that's another thing about Judy Chicago, you know, she had, she, she had an awful lot of criticism for her life, but she just kept on going, she just kept on making art, and she kept on uh, encouraging other people to, to make art as well. So we have a uh, very recent work by Judy Chicago as well. Uh, one of them is behind me, based on the, the Kubler-Ross, the psychiatrist. Um, idea of grief has not necessarily been circular, but she says, uh, Kubler-Ross says that you go through five stages of grief, and they are anger, sadness, denial, bargaining, and acceptance. So Judy Chicago's kind of examining how she feels about that and about her death as well. The themes of death and dying are in the final work that, that we see by, by Judy Chicago. And here she's kind of contemplating her own death. How is it going to be? How is it going to happen? She's also tying this in with kind of the planet as well and the extinction of the planet and, and the fact that the animals are dying as well. So she, she's tying lots of different things together. So again, it's like those kind of universal themes and that, that are art. It very much goes from the very personal to the very uh, universal. So that's the end and uh, say um, Judy Chicago until April 2020, come and visit, it's rather marvellous.